guys, welcome to another lesson of Code with Chris. This is the Objective C series, and in this video, we're going to continue to talk about properties. And I'm going to show you what actually happens under the hood when you declare a property, like we did in the previous video. So, all right, let's get started. Hey guys, so here I have our properties project that we created from the last video, and you can download this project from the link in the description below or from the annotation on the screen. In the last video, what we did in car.h was create a couple of properties, and then in viewcontroller.m, uh, there's a couple of examples of how to set the properties and how to retrieve them. Well, I wanna show you what is actually happening under the hood. So, if you go back to car.h, for example, I declared a property here called name, which is of an a string type, and you know that's it you can use your property but what's happening under the hood is an instance variable gets created for you and then a getter and a setter method gets created for you as well so let me show you what that means using this name property as an example so I'm gonna declare uh, a private interface here and declare our private instance variable name and then a method to uh, to set the property so by default uh, the the method that gets created for you is set and then the property name that you declared before And then a method to return the value uh, when you retrieve the property. And by default, this method would be named the same name as your property. So all of this code kind of gets created for you. It kind of happens behind the scenes. Uh, when you declare a property like this and as a result you can actually in viewcontroller.m you see how we use the dot notation here you can actually do something like this and instead go set name to set your property and you can do this even without writing any of the code we have here even without declaring the set name method here the reason that sometimes you might want to explicitly type some of uh, this out is, for example, if there was a situation where I wanted to set the mileage of the car whenever the name gets set, I could do that right here and say something like self dot mileage equals 10,000. If I go back to viewcontroller.m, whenever name gets set now the mileage would get set to 10,000 automatically for my object because I have this code right here even if I didn't do it this way if I didn't explicitly use the set name method even by using the dot notation uh, and I by assigning some value to the name property this set name method would get called so this is called the setter method for you know, my name property and this is the getter method for my name property and up here this is just the private instance variable that tracks uh, the value that my property holds And in here, in the set name method, you don't have to be limited to setting other properties. You could be calling other methods. You could have all sorts of, um, for a practical example would be, 
uh, let's say that I wanted the name to always be stored in lowercase, I could do something like making sure that the um, that the name is in lowercase here by converting it. So I could do something like um, using this helper method lowercase string to take whatever value someone is setting to my name property and then taking the lowercase string and then assigning it to the property. Uh, and if you choose, you know, you could always go back to just having the plain implementation. If you remove all of this stuff, your name property still works as expected. You can assign and uh, retrieve values from it. So that wraps it up for properties, at least until we get to Interface Builder. Uh, but for your fun fact of the day, did you know that in WWDC coming up next week, uh, well, it's bad to mention dates in videos because who knows when you're going to be watching this, but in WWDC 2013, iOS 7 is going to be announced and supposedly they're going to change the whole user interface from all this glossy, gradient-y type of user interface into a more flat and monotone type of interface. So did you guys know that and what do you think of it? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.